Does tapering really signal doom for the markets? Forbes. Log in with your social account. Or, you can log in or sign up using Forbes. New posts plus for posts this hour. Most popular America's next decade. Lists top earning tennis stars. Video firing Steve Jobs. 12 stocks to sell now. Help vertical line. Connect. Vertical line sign up vertical line log in. Advisor intelligence. Ideas from financial advisors. Follow following unfollow. Investing. Vertical line September 10, 2013 at 10.15 a.m. Vertical line 899 views. Does tapering really signal doom for the markets? Sean Hanlon, contributor. Two comments, zero called out. Comment now. Follow comments following comments unfollow comments. Comment now. Follow comments following comments unfollow comments. If you Euros trademark BE been paying attention to the financial headlines as of late, you Euros trademark BE likely noticed some increased market volatility. One cause of this volatility has been information coming out of the Federal Reserve. Recently, the Federal Open Market Committee FOMC meeting minutes and announcements have revealed the possibility that they will begin to reduce or a euros taker a the 85 billion dollars bond buying program toward the end of 2013 we should know more about the a euros tapering the plan when the federal meets on september 17 and 18 the standard reaction of the markets has been to sell off causing interest rates to spike and equities to decline one reason for this action is that the federal is propping up the bond market with their bond buying if they start to taper the bond buying program bond prices will set interest rates will rise and equities will become less attractive. We should ask ourselves, is all of this worrying warranted? Does tapering really signal doom for the markets? While we can never predict precisely how markets will act in the future, we can look at past events as a guide. There have been numerous post-Great Recession events in the news over the last few years that caused investors to run and markets to decline in anticipation. In reviewing these events, we can see that the decline was rarely, if ever, warranted. Markets generally recovered any losses shortly after these reactionary moves. The below list of recent past events, also identified on the following SM page 500 index chart, may help to put the current taper-inspired market volatility into perspective. 1. June 2011, Euro debt crisis. Riots occurred in Greece as a bailout is negotiated to. August 2011, the U.S. debt ceiling deadline 3. August 2011. S&P downgrades U.S. credit rating for December 2012, fiscal cliff 5 January 2013, tax increases start 6 March 2013, sequestration spending cuts kick in 7 March 2013, Cyprus bailout 8 May 2013 to present, tapering of bond buying program 9 August 2013 to present, concern over Syria intervention and tension with Russia do you recall these headline events? The markets suffered through some volatility at the time, but the dominant market trend continued and these events were quickly forgotten by investors. Yes and page 500 index without dividends. The summer of 2011 was somewhat of a perfect storm. Greece was rioting in the streets as a bailout was being considered. Other European nations were having issues of their own, most notably Spain, Portugal and Italy. Meanwhile in the US, Congress was having partisan debates over the impending deadline in August 2011 to resolve the debt ceiling and avoid potential default. Special offer, finding undervalued gems can be a tough task. Get the names of five rock euro solid companies with real, tangible growth drivers and big money making potential in the three report five bargain stocks to buy now. Adding fuel to the fire. In August 2011 S&P downgraded the credit rating of the U.S. government from AAA to AA+. Markets reacted to all of this by selling off aggressively, with the S&P page 500 index briefly down almost 20% from peak to through. Did the debt ceiling debates and trouble in Europe suddenly make the U.S. stock market 20% less valuable? Of course not. By the end of the year. The SM page 500 index was nearly back to where it was before the sell off. How many remember the fiscal cliff at the end of 2012? Most, I A Euros trademark am sure, but I A Euros trademark D bet that many had also forgotten about it until just now. Market sold off in anticipation of that deadline, but we can see by the chart number 4 that the markets 